Bangkok has changed a lot because of the COVID. Incredibly, there are some areas still vibrant, but others instead are dead. My name is Paolo, I'm a content creator based in Bangkok, and in today's video I will show you a few areas of West Bangkok that I like the most. Klong on An, Yaurat Road and Asiatic. A couple years ago, Klong on An was just another canal filled with stinky and smelly water. Today, it has become a very nice and beautiful pedestrian walkway, very near to Kausa Road and Yaurat Road. I personally like to come here in the evening, that's the best time for me. If you are into photography and video, this is absolutely one of the most beautiful areas you must visit. There are suggestive spots where you can take a nice photo to be shared on social media. Just like this little tiny street, cute, beautiful, with lots of people taking photos with a Chinese lantern that reminds me Shanghai. There are many street vendors and food sellers along both sides of the canal, so just in case you're hungry, you can eat Chinese food, Thai food and Indian. The selection is quite decent. Talking about the street vendors and food, in the same time, I'm a little bit disappointed, and I'm gonna tell you why. You can find exactly the same stuff in every night market of Bangkok. Probably there is a better choice. And also talking about the street food, well, it's not like a real street food. It's local, but nothing so special, except a few restaurants and some nice cafe. Come on now, And yes, this is my favorite drink, chai tea. Simple, very hot <laughs> and delicious. Considering that I'm getting hungry, I wanted something good. Honestly, I prefer to go to Yao Rat Road, which is very near. and don't miss any of my videos you find the link in the description Yawarat Road is my favorite area of Bangkok that's it why do I like so much this neighborhood I tell you why it's the most vibrant sparkling energetic area of Bangkok in my opinion I like the people I like the atmosphere the vibes I like to get lost into the crowd. I like to follow the people without knowing where I'm going to. I love the color. I like the restaurant neon light. I like the smoke coming from the street vendors. I like almost everything here. It's so sparkling, so fresh, so energetic. It's the perfect place if you want to take nice photos and videos. And yes, Chinatown is the street food paradise. You can find so many kinds of food here. Super delicious. It's basically all about the seafood. Crabs, lobster, shrimps, squid. Seriously, there are so many choices here. But today, I'm not gonna eat seafood because I really want to get something I really, really like. Crispy pork, the real one, very crispy.
Crispy pork. Amazing. Today it's Friday, it's weekend, it's holiday, it's salary day and people have money to spend. And tonight Chinatown is so crowded, there are so many people everywhere. Too many people and I'm getting a headache. Seriously, I'm kind of dizzy. And you know what? I want to find another place to go. I want to have some relax before heading home and sleep. Seven days a week, every day, every night. But now there are no tourists, no people, no business. 80% of the shops are out of business, are closed. I'm not going to show you this sadness. Instead, I want to just enjoy the beautiful city view and Cha Praia River from the Ferris wheel. I couldn't resist. I saw the horror house just beside the ferry wheels and I decided to go. I really wish you liked this video and please don't forget to watch the video above. The end of the story I got ripped off by the taxi driver. He took a very long way to take me home. It's okay, it's not a big problem. So now it's time to go sleep. Then good night and see you soon. Goodbye from Bangkok.